What's up, everybody? I'm Yogi Diesel, back with episode 11 on the Beer Quest. What? Here we go. Double digits. All right, so first off, last episode was kind of a L. Hey, sometimes we got to take them. It was a flop. So with this episode, we are back with one. Two and three beers. I pulled the wrong cup first. Last beer. That's a surprise. But we're going to start with these, which is actually kind of funny because we might actually have an expired beer, which is also why I wanted the third beer. I'm pretty sure this one is good. But I'm thinking this one right here might be expired due to me trying to wait and wait and wait for, oh my goodness, that was on in the background. So now we're going to have to restart all of this. Okay. All right. Hey, what's up, everybody? It's Yogi Diesel, back with episode 11. And yeah, last episode was a big L. Sometimes you gotta take them. And I apologize. I can't help that the bartender messed up on packaging the beer. So with this one, we are going to bring it back with a one two, three. And just to clarify, yes, this one actually might be expired. So that's another reason of why three beers. To make up for last night and the fact that this first beer from Raging Bitch. Oh, it's a tropical bitch. I get them. I get these bitches mixed up. So we got Flying Dog, which is, in its own, it's truly amazing. Um, Flying Dog teaming up with Ralph Steadman, to me, is just, man, that's something. So if you don't know who Ralph Steadman is, that was a very good friend, damn near best friend, the sidekick to Hunter S. Thompson, who wrote the occult classic, most famous book, and one of my longtime favorite books, and authors, the creator of gonzo journalism. Hunter S. Thompson was a wonderful man. Ralph Steadman is also a wonderful man with a wonderful talent of artistry. So. He designed all the flying dog, I believe, artwork. And this one is, let's see, Tropical Bitch, Belgian IPA, Belgian style IPA brewed with guava, pineapple, and tangerine. Hmm. So this gonna be a fruity. For years, she's gone walking. When she passes, she lures you in. And time after glorious time, she never disappoints. Tall and tan and young and lovely, you smile. With a swing so cool and a sway so gentle, you'll give your heart gladly. 8% alcohol. <laughs> Let's see. <laughs> For optimal freshness, enjoy by... Seven, twelve. I don't know if that's an eight or a three. It damn near wants to. It can't be a three. There's no way this beer is that old. I mean. I mean, there's no nothing. It's got to be 18. Still, 
right. <clears throat> so right out the gate. You get that IPA. You get that guava. I can smell that pineapple. Little hints of orangey, citrus, tangerine. You can smell the ingredients. But let's see how it tastes. Still nice and carbonated. Got some good head. It's pretty kind of dark. But hey. Now you really get the IPA smell. That tangerine is starting to lurk out of there. Just smells like one of those tropical punch. Holistic drinks. And you can't forget that it's 8.0. Damn near Imperial. Honestly, I don't. It doesn't taste too far off from the first time I had it when I bought the six pack. I don't know what makes it Bavarian or ba Belgian style kind of a B Bippa hey sweetie yep. you want to smell well I'm not going to pour it out for you cat Are you going to drink some or what? Keep licking your choppers. <laughs> All right. Be right back. You're looking at me like your world just turned upside down. Don't look at me. Either drink or go. <laughs> you didn't like it? You wanted it so bad. If I had a camera to put on you, I would, but there's not much I could do. Well, don't lay in it.
she gave it a lick. She, and then looks at me like, what the fuck is that? Not what you expected, huh? It's a beer that people around you having a barbecue before you have any food. You're, you know, you're like chilling at the pool. You're, you're at the beach. You're at the, you're, you're out fishing. You just, you're at the park throwing the frisbee, having a hacky sack. Personally, I'd be truly enjoying this skating. Take the board out, have a six pack in the in the backpack. Just pull one out, crack it, just push off, rolling around, headphones on. Smoke a joint. So, I wouldn't want to drink this every single day. I'd, I'd enjoy it once in a while. It's, it's good. It's not bad. Even for an, for an IPA, it's not bad. Pretty enjoyable. Right. Let's move on. So here, what do we got? We got Voodoo Brewery June Gloom. I'm, I'm about to sneeze. Oh, got it. Jesus. Hey, cat. Get out of here. So again, we're Voodoo Brewery June Gloom. There's just so much going on with this sticker. All right, unfiltered wheat ale beer. Brewed and canned by Voodoo Brewing Co. in corporate Meadville, Pennsylvania. Oh, all right. We're not too far away from here. Voodoo Brewery. June Gloom is our traditional Bavarian-style Hefeweizen. Brewed with imported German Pilsner malt and healthy amount of German wheat. And in accordance with the Rhein... Ryan Heisk bought whatever brewed in reference of the classics consumed on the beaches of San Diego. We hope you enjoy our tribute to one of the most historic beer styles. Okay, so Bavarian, Hefeweizen. Pilsner, German, San Diego. If this beer just wants to claim every inch of the world, huh? All right, now go. For real, cat. Come on, go. Let's see. Don't be a scumbag. Please recycle. The employee owners of Voodoo Brewing Co. have taken our brewing experience 
and quirky personalities and wrapped it up into a line of beers orientated around what we feel are fun, flavorful, and thought-provoking. We wish you enjoy our beers as much as we do brewing them. 5.7 alcohol volume, keep cold fresh. That's a whole lot of fucking shit. All right, so here's picture, sticker, blah, 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 blah. Let's see what else. This stamp down here is so small, I can't make it out. So, whatever. And I had noticed, that's why I grabbed the toilet paper. This can was looking a little dirty my god why am i failing miserably here to clean this okay got no sun okay mm. see there's those allergies Banana. Hmm. It's a little cloudy. It is just a little cloudy. Got a decent, um, decent head. Pretty sticky. And yeah. Smells like a heffin. A heffy. It's got that banana chew. You can smell what I don't eat, wheat. It's like a pea, it's like a banana sandwich. But how's it taste? Let's find out. Oh yeah, banana sandwich. It's a little, it's, it's definitely a little sour. It's got this to it. But for the most part, it's just kind of bland. Like, if you just wanted a, a basic Hefeweizen, wheat ale, and you just want to drink all day, there you go. Really? Excuse me. Hey, get her! Get out of my drawer! Cause it's not even like you were gonna lay on the... The clothes that you shouldn't lay on. You, of course you're gonna lay on... What is wrong with you right now? I'm truly about to kick you out. You've made this such a hard episode. The obstacles of trying to review beer here. <laughs> Bartenders fucking up a, a 
can of beer. Cat wants to get in on it. You're kidding me right now. What is wrong with you? Seriously. Come on. Get it. Get it. What's up? No, I'm kidding. I'm not restarting it. It is what it is. <coughs> so, the question is, am I going to buy this again me personally no but this ends up being the loudest chair this happens to be my roommate's one of her favorite beers so when it comes back into stock i'm sure we'll get it again All right, moving on to the third and final beer. So, because our last one was such a bummer, I had a dig out one that happens to be so far out of the whole entire series one of my my all time favorite. I have had this in different forms. I've had it in all except no I've had it. I've had this on draft. I've had this bottled. Oh wait, the bottle was just normal. And this is nitro. So I haven't had them all, you know, but whatever. I've had the original non-nitro last year and I bought a few of the 20, 22, 24 ounces, and I got it on draft two. But with the release of Nitro, yeah. So, enough stalling. Southern Tears Creme Brulee Nitro. Imperial Milk Stout, ale brewed with vanilla beans and with natural flavor added. Uh, brewed and canned by Southern Tier Brewing Company, Lakewood, New York. Yeah. Unleashed Nitro, pour into your favorite glass or drink from the, this from the can. 10% color black, body creamy and heavy, bitterness moderate, 